hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is take creation with another exciting video as you can see huh, i made this baby girl's bralette granny square top very cheeky look at the back take a look very beautiful so if you want to know how i make this top please 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 subscribe to my youtube channel Give this video a thumbs up and drop a lovely comment or a suggestion or any other thing on my channel now let's get right into the video for this tutorial i'm going to be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook scissors and four colors of yarn so let's get right into the video so now i'm going to begin by making a slip knot After making a slip knot, I'm going to make a chain of four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to make a slip stitch into the first single crochet, uh, the first chain. Sorry, one, two, three, four. One single crochet into the first chain. Bring it out. Now you chain three. One, two, three. Then make fifteen double crochet into this cycle. Plus the chain three. That's sixteen. One two three so just continue until you get 16 plus the chain three four five now i've done 16 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 plus this chain three that's 16 now i'm going to make a slip stitch on top of this chain three here so slip stitch on top of this chain three then chain one then i'll cut this yarn and reattach another color of yarn so i've taken my second color so now i'm going to double my yarn but if you have a medium weight yarn you don't need to double your yarn now i'm going to make a slip knot then attach into any space here So now I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. Make a puff stitch. So to make a puff stitch, you yarn over, put your hook into this first hole here, bring it out. That's one. Yarn over, put it into the same space, bring it out. Please make sure it's free. That's two. Yarn over, put it into the same stitch, bring it out. That's three. So this is how it looks like. Then take it through all the loops in it then chain two one two so let's do it again yarn over bring it out one yarn over bring it out two yarn over bring it out three chain one two double crochet uh, two chains sorry yarn over one two three then pass every chain through the loop chain two one two so this is going to be our pattern continue making one puff stitch till you get to the end at the end you have 16 puff stitches i'm almost at the end of this round i have one stitch remaining that's this one here so i'm going to yarn over and make my last puff stitch so this will make it the 16th puff stitch chain two slip stitch on top of this chain three here and we're done chain one then i'm going to cut my yarn and reattach with the other color so now this is my rear blue color i'm going to make a slip knot with this color Then I can attach it anywhere I like. So just put your hook through this loop here. Bring it out then. Chain three, one, two, three. Now we're going to make an unfinished double crochet. So just watch what I do. Yarn over into the same space. Bring it out. Take it through the first two. Through the last two, we leave it. So it's an unfinished double crochet. 
into the same space bring it out take it through the first two we have three three loops take a yarn over into this the same space take it through the first two you have four loops on your hook yarn over the same thing again take it through the first two you have five in your loop now take it through all five then chain one so this is going to be our pattern in next stitch make one unfinished double crochet two three four so we have five loops one two three four five take it through all five chain one so continue repeating till you get to this point four make sure your loops they are your loops in the hook are five before you take it through all five chain one so continue i'll meet you when we get to this side so i'm almost at the end i have just one stitch remaining so i'm going to do the last cluster So now I'm going to slip stitch on top of this chain 3 here, chain 1, cut up my yarn. Now our granny square is still in form of a circular shape, but in the next round we're going to make the square. So I'm going to take my other color, my other shade of blue, I'm going to make a slip knot with this color. Then attach anywhere. So now I'll chain three repeats one, two, three. Let me do it again. One, two, three. Now I'm going to make two more double crochet plus this chain three will make it make it three double crochet. So one, one, the chain three is one, two three then chain two one two into that same space i'm going to put on that three double crochet so one two three so this is our first edge so now i'm going to chain one into the next space into the next space i'm going to put three double crochet one two three chain one into the next three double crochet one two three chain one into the next into the next three double crochet one two three chain one into this point here we'll make our second our second edge so three double crochet one two three chain two one two three double crochet one two three chain one so now i'm we've done this second border this is the first one this is the second one so in the next three spaces we're going to put three double crochet each one two three three double crochet in the next three spaces so one two three one space one two three second one one two three third one chain one after three after three double crochet you chain one three double crochet chain one so into the next the third border we'll chain one three double crochet one two 
three chain two another three double crochet one two three chain one so now we've done the third border now we're going to put three double crochet in the next three spaces one two three so continue one two three chain one one two three chain one one two three chain one now we've done three double crochet in the next three spaces now we'll do our we're doing our last border three double crochet chain two one two three double crochet one two three chain one then three double crochet in the next three spaces that one two three one two three chain one one two three chain one so this last space here one two three chain one so now we're going to make a slip stitch on top of this chain three here for this row to be over chain one cut off my end so now it's just for me to pull my squares out so now i'm going to join the granny squares using using a single crochet so now i'm going to make a slip knot so i pass my hook through the slip knot take one of the squares from the edge i'm going to attach it like this through the back i'm walking through the back so that the front will be neat so through the back of this this space this chain two space i'm going to put my hook then into the other chain two space of the other one through the back i'll put my hook like this then i'll pass my wool just yarn over like this through both of them as if you are doing a slip stitch with it then turn my work now i'm going to put single crochet into this space here then secure it so now i'm going to work with these clusters of three so there's three in this front one there's three in this back one so into the first double crochet of the three clusters i'll put a single crochet into the second double crochet i'll put a single crochet to secure it into the third the same thing so these three clusters are secured with three single crochet into the next the space this chain one space i'll put a single crochet into the next three clusters the same thing the three clusters together get a single crochet each so one single crochet we're doing it so that it will won't skip any double crochet as we move one single crochet into the space the chain one space put a single crochet into the next three clusters get one single crochet each please make sure both both sides are overlapping each other so that you won't skip any one as you go if you skip any one you end up your granny squares won't actually come out very nice so we work in three clusters with a single crochet the chain one with a single crochet we're almost at the end so in this end part this tail part we're going to put one single crochet into the three clusters two three into this chain one space here chain two space i mean you put a single crochet chain one then cut off your yarn so this is how it looks like properly secured so now we are just going to do the same thing with this other side with this other i used five squares sold five squares so these five squares we are going to be using for the band because i want the waistline to be 
actually small that's under after the bra cups to be actually small because we're going to be doing some match in between and some open up so after joining in now i'm going to take my white yarn i'm going to take my white yarn that i'm going to attach to this point here bring it out chain three one two three Then I'll put two more double crochet, one, two, plus the chain three, that's three double crochet cluster, chain two, repeat the same, put three double crochet here, one, two, three. Into the next space, that's this um, opening here, this chain one space, you'll put three double crochet there. into the next chain one three double crochet so we're going to put in three double crochet clusters with the white you can use other any other color you want because at the end of the day i would love to see your work with other colors so i'm just playing with this shade of blue color because i actually like the way it's coming out so so in this last part of this first square I'll put three double crochet there. One, two, three. Into the next three double crochet. Throughout this stage, we are not going to put a chain one, just three double crochet in every chain one space. So continue putting three double crochet in every chain one space. So three double crochet here. Three double crochet here, three double crochet here, three here, three here. Just move till you get to this side. So I have gotten to this, we've done the first border here. I've gotten to the second border. So three double crochet in the second border. Chain two, three double crochet. So into this next space here, three double crochet. So th continue putting three double crochet so we get to this other point so that we can put the third border. So three double crochet. Three double crochet. So we've gotten to this point here, the third border. So I put three double crochet, chain two. One, two, another three double crochet in that same point. One, two, three. So this is how our work looks like now. So now you're going to continue putting three double crochet into every space till you get to this point. Cutting to the end of this round, like working three double crochet so i'm at the fourth border which is the last border before we'll close this round so three double crochet chain two three double crochet so we are just this place remaining just work three double crochet then we'll make a slip stitch on top of this chain three here now we'll just slip stitch on top of this chain three here chain one then cut off your yarn 
so this is how our work looks like now we just made only one row with white we're going to put some mesh stitch in in this front here so don't worry about that for the bra cup we are going to make a slip knot I'm going to make a chain of four one two three four then I'm going to make a slip stitch into the first chain from the hook now I'm going to chain three one two three then I'm going to into this cycle I'm going to add 16 double crochet plus the chain 3 that's 17 double crochet so continue putting double crochets till you get 16 double crochet plus the chain 3 the first um, granite square we did for the base we actually use we actually use 16 plus the chain 3 but for the uh, the bra cup I'm using 17 because one double crochet the one double crochet I added the one double crochet I added is going to serve as the tip of the bra so let's count backward 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay still have three more to go 15 16 17 make sure 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so i'm going to make a slip stitch on top of this chain 3 chain 1 then i'll cut off my yarn i'll reattach with using another color so i'm going to make a slip knot with this color and attach my yarn anywhere I want to okay nice secured I'm going to chain three one two plus this um, point that we used to secure it that's three chains yarn over now we're going to make a pop stitch yarn over bring out yarn over bring out two yarn over bring out three chain two one two into the next stitch the same thing so this the second pop stitch chain one yarn over bring out one yarn over bring out two yarn over bring out three then take it through all the loops then chain two into the next the same thing so if you continue so you get 17 puff stitches then we'll i'll meet you at the end so i'm done with 16, uh, 17 puff stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 now i'm going to slip stitch on top of this chain three here so slip stitch on top of the chain three chain one Cut off my yarn and reattach with another color. So it depends on the colors you are using. So now I'm going to make a slip knot with this other color and attach it at any chain to space. So now I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. So now I'm going to do an unfinished double crochet, yarn over, remaining two in your hook, yarn over again, bring it out, take it through the first two, you have three in your loop, yarn over, take it through the first two, you have four in your loops, yarn over, take it through the first two, you have five in your loops, make sure your loops are actually free, so that the last two so that we can actually pass it very well so now yarn over and take it through all five loops one two three four five chain one into the next do an unfinished double crochet one two three four when you do it four times you put four unfinished double crochet here 
we have five loops one two three four five take it through all five chain one then do the same in the third in the third space You have one two three four five take it through all five chain one so this is going to be our pattern for this next round continue moving it around till you get to this point that's 17 unfinished double crochet so now i've done one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen now i'm going to make a slip stitch in the on top of this chain three here chain one then i'll cut off my yarn so our square our bra is still in a circular shape in this circular form so now we're going to start shaping our bra cup so you can put it anywhere start your slip knot put your slip knot anywhere so now i'm going to chain four one two three four so now i'm going to do a treble crochet that's yarn over twice take it through this space bring it out take it through two take it through two take it through two yarn over again Bring it out, take it through the first two, through the second two, through the third two, chain three, one, two, three, yarn over twice in that same space, through the first two, through the second two, through the third two, yarn over again. We're going to make two more treble crochet. Some people call it treble crochet, some call it an extended double crochet. So, anyone who that works for you, so three treble crochet, chain three. Three treble crochet in this space here. This is the first border. The next, I'm going to put three double crochet. I'm not making any chains, just three double crochet. Next, I'm going to put three half double crochet in this next space here. Yarn over three half double crochet. Next, I'm going to put three single crochet in this border. One, two three in this space i mean next i'm going to put three half double crochet one two three next i'm going to put three double crochet in the next space one two three now we're going to do the tip of the bra cup yarn over twice three treble crochet one, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, three, double, three treble crochet in that same space. One, two, three. So now I'm going to move this way. So now I'm going to put three double crochet in this point here in the next stitch three double crochet the next three half double crochet one two three in the next space three single crochet one two three in the next place three half double crochet one two three in the next place three double crochet one one two three in the next place here we'll make our second border three treble crochet one two three chain three one two three Three treble crochet again in that same place. One, two, three. So this is how it looks like. So now we're not going to increase this place. 
this side the bottom part we're not going to increase it we're just going to put three double crochet one two three in the second place here two half double crochet one three half double crochet sorry two three in the next place three half double crochet one two three in this last place here three double crochet one two three three after the three double crochet here at this last place of the base slip stitch on top of this chain four chain one i'll cut off my end and reattach with my other color so i just bring it out a little so this is the bottom these are the two sides as you can see it's already getting this v-shape this is the this is the up of the bra that we get the strap later on so now i'm going to attach with my white color i've made a slip notch with my white so starting from one of this point here because i've already marked here as my beginning you can put a stitch marker here as my tip then here as my base then these are my sides so i'm going to Reattach with a white color. Chain three. One, two, three. I don't know if you noticed, I work with my yarn most times. Like all this. I like I just like working with it. So I'm going to put three double crochet there. One, two, three. Chain three. One, two, three. In that same space put four double crochet one two three four so plus this chain three here yeah, makes it four double crochet chain three four double crochet so in the next stitches you get to this point to be three double crochet into every cluster so make sure you actually look at it very well so three double crochet one two three into the next three double crochet no chain one sorry just continue putting three double crochet to so get to this point here so this is where we are right now so i'm going to okay just add one more that's three okay now we're at our tip we're going to put four double crochet one two three four chain three chain three one two three four double crochet one two three four so now we're going to put three double crochet into every opening till we get to this last part of our base so the next gets four three sorry three double crochet one two three one two three continue working to get here so we've gotten to this last point here i'm going to put three double crochet four double crochet here sorry four double crochet here chain three four double crochet so we've gotten to this last point i'm going to make four double crochet one two three four chain three one two three Four double crochet one two sorry two three four so we've got some 
the second the third border i mean then we'll work on the base with three double crochet in every opening one so just continue putting three double crochet till you get to this point here of the base so i've done three double crochet into every opening now i'm going to slip stitch on top of this chain three here chain one cut off my end i don't really know how to talk loud but i'm trying my best to like increase my volume because in my previous video somebody commented that i should work on my volume so this that's what i'm trying to do right now practically shouting so now back to our crop top i have joined the bra top to the bands or the beads so this is how it looks like now so now i'm going to join the other cup so the i'll have to join the other cup to the band so i'll show you how i join this so just make a slip knot with the white or your background color whatever you want to use in your background as your background color chain i'm uh, sorry make a slip knot with it so now i'm going to just bring out this end flap here so i'm going to join it the way we joined our granny square So I'll take my hook. Look at I'm working with the base now. This is the base. So this is the square. So now I'm going to pass my so I'll pass my slip. This is my slip knot I made through both the bra cup and the base chain one. In that same space i'm going to put a single crochet so now i'm going to work on each clusters like where the way we normally do it so one single crochet one single crochet making sure the front and the back they are together so the second cluster here i guess one single crochet on top of every double crochet So just continue putting one single crochet to sew it together till we get to the end working on each clusters as we go that's the clusters of three and uh, double crochet i mean so if you notice our square has ended but our bra cup has not ended so you can feel free to enter into the second granny square because the cup is bigger than the square so just go into it with a single crochet so we are at this tip here so one single crochet there So we're done so what i just normally do i just take it through both then make a slip stitch with it so secure it chain one cut off my end so we've attached the cup so this is how my work looks like you now one cup here back like this then the other cup so let's turn it forward so this is how your work should look like at this point very cute right very cute <laughs> okay so now i'm going to make the mesh part for this mesh part i'm going to start with my background color that's the white so i'm going to start at this point here so into this chain three space i'll pass my hook 
secure it. So now I'm going to chain four double crochet plus this one is one, two, three, four. So this four double crochet serves as a three double crochet chain one. So one, two, three is a double crochet, then this one is a chain one. So into I'll skip one stitch into the next I'll put one double crochet chain one then into the next skip one into the next one double crochet chain one skip one into the next one double crochet so continue with your mesh stitch skip one into the next one double crochet skip one into the next one double crochet so that's just going to be a pattern skip one into the next the one double crochet till i get to this point so continue chain one skip one let's skip this one into the second one one double crochet chain one skip one into the next one one double crochet chain one skip one into the next that's this point here one double crochet chain one skip one into the next stitch one double crochet so continue working like this to get to this point so we are almost at this tip here this tip here so chain one into this three double crochet you put one double crochet chain one one double crochet in this uh, three double crochet stitch one chain one one double crochet chain one one double crochet skip this into this point here put one double crochet sorry let me go back let's let's do this point again so we have one double crochet here chain one into this place into this pointed part put one double crochet chain one one double crochet chain one skip this stitch into this get the double crochet chain one so now we're going to walk this down to the back so skip one one double crochet chain one one double crochet chain one so our pointy edge is still there so continue putting one double crochet chain one skip one space into every stitch like this into every space working with the pattern so chain one skip one one double crochet so that's what you are going to do there's no more any thing just continue like this working like this till you get to this other tip then i'll show you what we'll do here so i've made mesh stitch from this other cup back through the back so i just know that this place i need to show you this place this place can be very tricky this um corner here so that you won't get confused so at this corner chain one skip this one on top of this um, corner here you just put one double crochet chain one skip this uh, sewing part put another double crochet chain one there then move along the side of the cup chain one one double crochet skip one one double crochet chain one skip one just continue till you get to this base of the the tip of the bra cup sorry so we are at this second cup now so we're going to do what we did for this this cup we're going to do it here to get that pointy tip so sorry chain one on this tip skip this one into this chain to be put a double crochet chain one one double crochet chain one skip this this then enter into this point here it's a double crochet sorry let me do the double crochet again it's a double crochet chain one then continue your work continue working the mesh stitch 
when we get to this point i'll meet you when we get to this point so continue working the mesh stitch till you get to this point so almost at the ends just pull this up that we can have something very straight as we go so now i've chained one here skip this one so uh, this um the bottom part of this chain three here so we're going to put a double crochet chain one one double crochet in that same space chain one skip this into this one here put a double crochet so we're working at the bottom part now double crochet chain one so now we're going to we've done this border we're going to continue doing the mesh stitch till we get to uh, beginning that's here so continue i'll meet you here end of this our uh, match round see how cute it looks like if you are watching this video um we have gotten to this point i have not subscribed to my channel please 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 help this baby go by subscribing to my channel please please subscribe to my channel like the video share it and if you have any comments or if you don't understand anything please just leave a comment down below and i would definitely reply you so we're at this last point here we are going to close our mesh stitch round so skip one into this point this space here chain one sorry one double crochet one double crochet chain one then you know when we started we did four chains one two three four so we're going to slip stitch into the third chain one two three slip stitch so this is how chain one cut off my end now let's appreciate this beauty gotta be very cute so one cup one cup back open checked so this is how my granny square so now we're going to make a very long chain so to cross it round so look at the back so i don't you can it looks very small here but when i actually wear it on a mannequin you see how it's going to stretch out so now it's just for us to get our long ropes for the straps and for the to close the front for this strap i just took two colors of my yarn i'm going to use them together if you want to use the whites for your straps no problem it's okay it's fine but i just want to switch things up here so i'm making a slip knot with my yarn like i said earlier if you are using a medium weight yarn you don't need to double so I'm going to attach it at this tip here. To secure it more, I'll make a single crochet with it in that same space. Now I'm going to chain, make a very long chain that can go through half of my neck. No, just because I'm what I did here, you're going to do it on this other side here. So just make a long chain that is very comfortable to you. If you want it free, you can. So continue. So now I have attached, I've made these straps, both straps. So I did a longer long one for this bust part. So it depends on your coverage. If you want it to start from here, free free, you want to go up a little. So it depends on how covered you want your cup to be. If you want your chest to come out very open, but me, I want to start mine from. The middle because i want the opening to be i want the bobs uh, the boob slime to show sorry so now okay now i'm going to lace it very easy just lace it so you see how beautiful this <laughs> I never really knew when I drew it, I never really knew it to come out this fine. Like, I must say, it's very pretty. 
please 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 don't forget to subscribe it's looking at you very just subscribe to my channel because more designs are coming i am working on a lot of designs on this channel so if you want more of this good stuff that i'm bringing out please support me by subscribing liking the video leave a comment for me to see to to tell me if i did something good or if i need a correction anyway you know we are learning every day so just show me some support by leaving a comment so that i will know i actually nailed it or if there's any other place i need to work on maybe my sound my pronunciation anyone i'm open to learn so i'm almost at the end of this lesson so i'm going to wear it on a mannequin so you'll see how beautiful it is okay that's it hey just tie it like this so now our work is still rough i think it's waving our edge but i need to give it some tigger's touch so like what i did for this skirt i added pearls so i'm still going to add pearls for this so if you have a electric blue feel free to use that but me this is what i normally use so on this uh, opening here i don't want to just leave it open I'm going to design it with pearls so just give it some baby girl fitting baby girl design i like adding some fashionable stuff to my crochet work so just make it stand out from the other regular granny square you see if you don't want to put the pearls you can actually use it like that so I added pearls to every opening here. Check it out. So now we're just going to weave in our edges, our ends. Me, I normally bond my this part of my um tails just to secure it. You can do whatever suits you. In my pictures you see how i will do the straps the straps you can tie it like this you can give it a cross behind and work it in like this i'll just show you a picture when i'm done so now it's just for me to weave in all my ends then you see the final look so this is how it looks like in the mannequin i just took this rope behind so you can either tie it just like this, but I just gave it a curse. Just put it inside like this at the back. So cute, right? So cute. So for the video of the skirt, it's on my channel as well. So if you want to learn how I made this baby girl skirt, please watch the video of the skirt. And Please don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and turn on your post notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when I post another video. Till next time, please stay confident.